Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk a little bit about the growth of my channel. I am nearing 700 subscribers and I've had 140,000 plus viewers, which is mind blowing. I really didn't expect to get a lot of viewers more than I ever expected to get. But all I do is just talk about silver and and how it's nice to buy and have on hand and how some coins are collector and some are uh, not collectors, they're just stack quality. These loose quarters and stuff, it's really not a collectible coin. Something like this, though. Get the light on it just good enough. It's a fairly nice looking 1915 uh, Barber Dime. A little toning on it and stuff, but then this is another collector type coin, a little more higher price than something like these 50 cent coins here would be. They're not particularly collectible, their values mainly in silver. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that though. You know, stackers will stack this kind of coin. And collectors will buy stuff like a Morgan dollar here, or they'll buy stuff like the Cook Island Bounty or the Rwandan Sadov, which is here, or Libertads. Let's talk about the Libertads shortly. This is one of the earlier ones. It is in 1984, and I don't know how well it shows through this holder. This is Independence Libertad around the rim, and this is a newer one. It's rigid like most of these are, and it's a little bit bigger, but not as thick. Anyway, they're both one ounce silver, and um, they have a little bit higher premium to them than what your uh, other rounds usually do. But lately, the, these American Eagles have had insane premiums. You know, 10, 11, 12 bucks over the value of one ounce of silver. At that rate, you're, you're paying a pretty heavy premium. And it's not... A very good feeling to be doing that. If you're trying to get more silver, you just want to buy stuff like buffaloes and a more of a generic type round coin, which at the moment I don't have any of them on display. But the buffaloes are usually the cheapest of all the, you know, and then any other generic, you know, non country made, just a one ounce silver round, three nines pure. Kind of like this one is. However, this coin is certainly not a super generic one. It was, um, strangely enough, priced as if it was just a silver coated token. The dealer had it for $2. I had a Sigma tested. It tests out at 39 silver in its. Online, they say they're one ounce silver, and it pings funny because this double ring in the design probably makes it a little different. But it's still an interesting coin. I was very happy to have gotten it for two dollars.